Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my Gadget Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to do a whole roasted chicken in the Ninja Foodie. Okay, so according to the Ninja Cookbook, a 6 to 7 pound chicken needs to pressure cook for 20 minutes and air fry for 30 minutes. When I cooked my chicken, after 30 minutes of air frying, it still wasn't done. I cooked it for an additional 20 minutes. Personally, I don't see the point of pressure cooking your chicken first. I have a video that shows how to air fry a whole chicken in just 60 minutes. I'll post a link to that video up above and down below in the description box. All right, so now that that's out of the way, let's get cooking. So I've got a six and a half pound whole chicken. I have removed the innards and I have rinsed and patted dry the chicken. I am seasoning the inside with kosher salt, some black pepper, half an onion, and some cloves of garlic. I am now using some twine to tie the legs together. So now it's time to inject the bird with this yummy Creole butter marinade. Now I'm just gonna pour some in a separate container cause I don't wanna contaminate um, the bottle because I'm not gonna use that much. Just what's in this cup right here. And you want to inject the bird all over. Breasts, wings, thighs, legs, everywhere you want some flavor. So now that the bird has been injected, I'm seasoning the inside of the wings with some salt and pepper because I'm going to be tying the wings down so they don't float around all willy nilly while the chicken is cooking. So now I'm going to season the whole chicken all over with some kosher salt, some complete seasoning, some Creole seasoning, and then finally some freshly ground black pepper. To the bottom of my pressure cooker, I'm adding a couple um, chicken bouillon cubes, some garlic cloves, and a few um, slices of onion. And then I'm gonna put the basket inside the pressure cooker insert. And then I'm going to seal the pressure cooker using the pressure lid, set to seal, and I'm gonna cook on high pressure for 20 minutes and then do a quick release of the pressure when the time is up. Here's what the chicken looks like after 20 minutes under pressure. Now it's time to use the air crisp lid. I am going to cook for 15 minutes, but first spray your bird with some olive oil. I forgot um, initially, but spray with some olive oil and then close the crisping lid and I'm cooking for 15 minutes. And then after the 15 minutes was up, I flipped the bird, haha, <laughs> flip the bird. Uh, to breast side up and when I turned the chicken over I noticed that it like looked like some of the seasonings had fallen off so I did go ahead and add some more seasonings because you can never have too much flavor and then I spritzed it with some olive oil and then I cooked the um, top side for 15 minutes like I said before that was not enough so I did an additional 20 minutes I did top the chicken with a um, piece of foil so it wouldn't um, get too brown with the additional cooking while the chicken was cooking, I worked on the sides. In my six and a half quart ninja, I put in some fresh broccoli with one cup of uh, water and I cooked on high pressure for zero minutes. Broccoli cooks really fast under pressure, so zero minutes is the perfect amount of time. By the time your pressure cooker comes to pressure, your broccoli is done cooking. Season it with a little bit of kosher salt and that's it. It's delicious, easy peasy. I also made some rice inside of my Instant Pot Mini and with the help of those two gadgets, my sides were done in a matter of minutes. So here is what the chicken looked like when it was all done. Oh my goodness, it was so beautiful. The outside was so crispy and the inside was so juicy and it was so, so flavorful. Uh, make sure you wait 10 minutes um, before you cut, up, cut open your chicken. Go ahead and let it rest. I don't know if you can see the juices on camera, but this bird was juiced to the max and it was so good. I promise you, it was delicious. You definitely have to try this recipe. So if you like this video, if you found the information helpful, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. 
it helps out my channel and I appreciate it. And if you're here and you haven't tapped that red button yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, but go ahead and tap it today. Click subscribe and go ahead and tap that bell so you're notified of my next upload. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember, get out of that drive through and get into the kitchen. Oh, and while you're here, two videos are about to pop up. Go ahead and watch those. They're just as good as this chicken one. Bye.